Well, hello, it's Jim with the Marion Homeschool Assistance Program. Uh, I am a school psychologist. I've been working in schools for a long time, and I love to talk with kids and families about issues related to mental health. Uh, and mental health is about how we stay healthy mentally. And so one of the things we all have to deal with is stress. And so in this video, we will talk about the topic of stress in the context of the COVID quarantine. But honestly, this is good information for any time that we're experiencing stress. And we recognize, of course, that stress is a part of life. Now we're experiencing a particular uh, chronic stress right now with the quarantine. Um, and, but stress is something that we all experience in life. It's a time when the circumstances of life tax the resources that we have for dealing with life. They tax us emotionally, relationally, spiritually, intellectually, even physically. We, we experience stress when our circumstances are not quite exactly what we are prepared for, what we are expecting. Now, stress can do three things to our human systems. Um, it's a normal part of life, of course, so we're not gonna escape stress. This isn't about getting rid of stress, it's about managing our stress. The first thing that stress can do for us is it can actually break us. We can feel so overwhelmed by the stress that we begin to break down. Our systems are no longer able to cope. People uh, might have panic attacks or they might have outbursts of anger or uh, they might have prolonged periods of, of real depression. They might have relational difficulties, having trouble accomplishing things. Stress can actually break us. And uh, the second thing that stress can do is it can numb us. In our response to stress, a form of being broken is that it can shut us down so that we just no longer have any energy. We go into a period of lethargy. We can't seem to accomplish anything. We have difficulty getting out of bed. This is kind of a depression, although not necessarily depression because it's stress-induced depression. It's circumstantial and, and want to differentiate between a prolonged clinical diagnosis of depression and just a generic depression that we all experience under stress. So it can break us, it can numb us, but the third thing stress can do is it can make us stronger. In fact, what we know about stress is that it's the only way that we get stronger. Stress is the only source that allows us to get stronger in, in physical ways, intellectual ways, emotional, spiritual. Let's example, let's take the example of going into the weight room. If you are an athlete and you go into the weight room, you intentionally stress your body to make it stronger. If you are a runner, you intentionally run a little bit longer or a little bit faster in order to get stronger. Well, all kinds of stress work like that. We can see them as opportunities to get stronger intellectually, emotionally, spiritually, and in our relationships with each other. Uh, if you're married, you will understand that it has taken stress in your relationship with your spouse to build a stronger relationship. It's stress, in fact, in all of us, in older kids, you'll understand this too, if you're watching this with your parents, stress precedes the best things that we've ever done in terms of self-awareness and personal change. If we've made changes in our lives about habits, about um, how we're gonna deal with emotions, about anything really at all, they were immediately preceded by stress. What we might have called negative circumstances led us to make positive changes. So if we're gonna help our kids deal with stress, and we're gonna deal with it our, ourselves, we've gotta have sort of a strategy and approach to stress. And I wanna give you four R's that are gonna help us address stress. Now you'll have to do this, break this down individually in your own family, in your own circumstance. But if you use these four R's, they will help you manage stress, not only in the COVID quarantine, but in all kinds of stress that are threatening or attacking or trying to help uh, or trying to make it difficult for you at home or make it difficult for your children. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to look at four R's. The first R is we're going to reframe stress. Reframing stress means we're gonna see it in the context that it belongs. For example, the COVID quarantine's been lasting for a couple months, but in the light of a full lifetime, it's not that long. Get out a piece of paper, draw a line, put birth all the way to age 80. Now you don't have to say you're gonna die at age 80, but that's kind of average life expectancy right now. And then put on that timeline the amount of time that this stress is lasting. It's a way of looking at the whole life. It will help you. It will also help your kids see. 
If your kids are 10 years old, you can still draw a timeline. You've lived for 10 years, stresses. This COVID quarantine's only been this long. We're gonna reframe it. We're also gonna reframe stress, not as something that's hurting us, but as something that's making us stronger. How can we get better with, by going through this stress? The second R is we're going to remember. Now, remembering means we're going to remember times in the past that we dealt with stress and how we got through it, how we arrived on the other side. As parents, this is essential not to get trapped in the stress of this current moment, even as you're trapped at home to some extent, maybe with your kids. But in any other stress that you experience with your kids, you've had stress before and you've made it through. If you're a spiritual person, you might look to the book of Psalms for this because there are many Psalms that kind of start with, wow, I just don't understand what's happening in my life. I can't handle it. Uh, imagery like my bed is drenched with tears, but they always end up saying, but I will remember what God has done in the past. You can do this spiritually, you can do it emotionally. I will remember how my past stress, I was able to manage it and come out of it. Psalm 77 is a great example if you're looking for one. The third thing we're gonna do is we're going to recover. Now, recover is kind of a weird thing, but recovering means I'm gonna recognize I've been using some unhealthy strategies to deal with stress. Maybe you're eating to deal with stress. Maybe you're sleeping to deal with stress. Maybe you're spending too much time on your screen to deal with stress for parents or kids. Maybe you're whatever to deal with stress that's not actually healthy. It's actually either numbing you or it's causing you to break down. We're going to recover from those things and we're going to establish better habits. We're going to find better ways to deal with our stress, which takes us to the fourth R, which is we're going to refocus. We're not going to focus on dealing with stress. We're going to focus on using stress to get stronger by developing strategies to be successful in the moment without getting trapped in thinking about the big picture of the circumstances, such as the quarantine. So for example, some people may benefit from making a checklist in the morning every day so that at the end of the day, they can say they accomplished this. Some people may benefit from a more strict schedule. Now a schedule shouldn't be imposed by parents. It should be worked on with the child. Imposed schedules produce expectations that can actually create more stress, but something negotiated with your children in terms of a better schedule may help them. It may be that you're gonna limit screen time or you're gonna limit alone time. You're gonna find ways to be more physically active. It might be goal setting, short-term goal setting, just for today or for just this week. But we're gonna refocus our attention, not on the stress, but on managing our lives in a way that help us overcome and get stronger through the stress. So stress, as a review, stress is a positive thing. It actually helps us. We can get stronger. And if we'll look at it through this four, these four R's, we can help our children deal with stress so that stress doesn't take us out, doesn't take our family out. I hope this is useful to you. If I can do anything else for you, please contact the Marion Homeschool Assistance Program or in the notes for this video, you can find my email and contact me directly. I'd love to talk to you. Have a great day.